Okay, I want to say hi again everybody and welcome to another video with me Richard. I'm in the park and it's a quick uh, evening video and the sun is setting. Uh, how are you doing? In this video I want to talk to you about art and some of my findings in art, okay? Um, in just my recent progress. I believe in everything we practice, you know, and from our passion and what we're, what we're interested in and our hobbies, we'll always improve obviously. And art is no exception, art obviously. I'm always improving my art gradually, I'll say that, I feel. Um, just the more I practice and the more I study um, not only the different methods of other people, the like other artists, that are real good artists out there that inspire me, both um, as in traditional artists and digital artists. Um, you know, I, I love it all, but you know, I'm just saying those people also inspire me, but also I inspire myself from my actual findings and experimentation, practicing and trying out different styles and coming up with different ways of mixing different styles and things too. When I say styles, I'm not actually only talking about styles as in a style of art, but also a st um, the style as in the way I'm actually, the method, basically the methods actually of, of, of producing art and creating art. Um, okay, yeah, so basically as most of you know, and as I say, um, I like drawing more than painting, I would say. I've just found drawing much more easier than painting. It comes more natural to me, but I enjoy both. And uh, it is different. And I do a lot of, as I say, I'm, I'm inspired by a lot of like that manga and type comic book type art and cartoons and stuff anyway, and things like that. So I like to draw, you know, <coughs> those and, as I say, that kind of art, you know, that manga type stuff, anime, uh, Japanese stuff, and then you've got the comic book kind of stuff. I like that with the lines and then and the cell shading and all that. I'm not great, I just do what I do, right? My own bit, I just try to practice and do whatever I can. The same with um, cartoony type tunes too, like, you know, Simpsons type stuff, like things like Simpsons, Futurama, things like that. So um, I like all those different genres. But when it comes to actual painting, like, I'm very inspired by um, a guy named Bob Ross. You may know Bob Ross, and then his teacher, who was that uh, William Alexander. Um, if I'm getting that name right, sorry. Um, Alexander Williams or William Alexander Alexander, whatever. Yeah, but you know, Bob Ross and his teacher, they're just legends in traditional or, or in um, in painting on a canvas, like literal actual painting. Um, but anyway, I'm just saying there's so many different methods you can do. Um, I find myself becoming better and faster at sketching and um, landscapes and scenery pictures more. And I like to do a lot of practice like, scenes like that too. And I'm, le I'm learning about all kinds of different methods, working with silhouette like truck type figures, uh, from sketchy figures or from stick figures, or drawing all kinds of methods trying to improve how to like go freehand without reference because I've been I've, I've been using reference for a long time using like photos and like 3d and stuff like that to help me you know but um, uh, you know and even taking photos and video clips of myself you know and just taking clips and uh, uh, looking at those and trying to trace or just like look at it side by side and just, just try to learn more about the, the positions like the figure of a hum, the human body I've always found it very very hard much harder to actually draw or paint the human body, like especially in in various positions and poses. Like for a lot of the action and stuff I'm trying to do, you know, like uh, the martial arts and the action scenes and things, I find that a lot of um, hard work setting up scenes. But what I've done is I've I've studied so many different methods and things, you know, and I've, um, different methods. I've been like reading like art books, like e-books and stuff. I've downloaded off off the internet. I've looked at lots of videos online. I watch concept artists and people like that I, I look at it all and I study it all and I'm I just find that's it you know, studying many methods and then practicing constantly um, from what you've learned from that and then from your own practice you just you just learn a lot of things and you can become better so I it's very hard it's like for me to explain I've become I'm becoming better and better I feel faster I'm becoming faster at sketching my awareness of perspective and the shapes of just creating scenery and then um, characters like to in the scenery and scenes. Um, so I want to just say, yeah, uh, I'm going to make this video pretty short. I've got to go somewhere, okay? But I just wanted, just wanted to share that with you there. 
A couple of uh, methods that I've really found um, that, I've, that I'm taking to and I really like, okay, a couple of methods for doing the art, the digital art, I'm doing that, in there, so, is um, I like to um, sketch. This works for characters as well as um, scenery. I find, I like both, I'm saying, doing the characters especially, like, drawing, like, a rough sketch, like, using rough, thin lines, and then going on a low, on a lower layer behind that, and work, you know, I'm working like different layers of opacity with the brush. I'm saying opacity in digital art to do a um, shade and do um, a silhouettes to those figures, and then it's a case of working the opacity, erasing certain areas, cleaning things up, using. So, like, it's a. I'm, I'm finding a, um, methods now of using both, like. Almost like painting, but it's drawing. It depends. You could go into full level shading and painting to make that like, painting based off of like just rough sketches anyway. Or you could like use rough sketches and then use silhouettes for parts of the picture or the whole picture to actually create the figures more. Because I find myself, I find a lot of people are like this, but you recognize the shapes of certain things. But I find for some human poses of positions, I'm able to draw figures with a silhouette better sometimes and then work the shading on top or then sketch and then work the detail in. Whereas some things I'm better at just sketching it out straight up and then adding you know, the, the colour behind it or whatever, the shading. So I'm not going to go into too much detail but I'm finding interesting things here and in developments in my art in general, a lot of improvement and I'm practicing and learning a lot of things and stuff. But the thing is like, I'm really learning though about working um, in terms of drawing and painting, but sketching, I'm getting faster at sketching line art and getting better. But I'm finding that the silhouette stuff is actually helping me too to like combine that, merge, and then it's, it's all helping me to create much better um, rough sketches. I'll say that. The starting with a sketch and some silhouette in there, and then some different shading and different opacities, erasing stuff, shaping stuff, and then then doing the proper art on top of that. That's what I'm finding, or using it, or just refining what you've got. So that's what I'm actually learning. I'll talk to you again soon. I hope you enjoy all my art videos. I've got a lot of animated cartoons coming on the way too. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks a lot. Take care now. It's an HD video in the park for you guys.